Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor by Impass Life Pro, and for this tutorial, it's time I showed you guys how to enable DOF with depth of field in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. This feature has been sort of hidden in the dark since the release of the SUS shader, and I only just recently figured this out, so without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, have the SUS shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Alright, let's open it up, double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, I want you to scroll all the way down to line 880. Now, this piece of code here is pretty much our on and off switch for enabling and disabling the depth of field. So, for enabling it, just remove the two slashes. For disabling the DOF, it's just a matter of re-adding the two slashes. Save, and let's take a look at this in Minecraft. When you check this out in game, you'll know that the DOF is working because everything is blurring except the object you're looking at. So, I'd say we're good to go. But before I leave you, there is one pretty important side effect to take into account. When DOF is active, light sources such as glowstone and glowstone lamps in particular will have their brightness increased by quite a bit. I didn't think this was that big of an issue, but it is something to consider. Anyways, if this video was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!